Hello and welcome to the Nation of Expert Gaming video. And today we have finally got our team. So just quickly going into this, we got Joe Hart in net, Cole Terry, Rio Richards, Mr. Theo Walcott, La Gerard Lampard, a Young, and a Gavia Bunglehorn. So we have started our final journey to the World Tour. We have finally arrived back in England, where we will play with our fellow um, competitor nation. And what we're going to be doing is just having some fun. This guy has got kind of like a kind of Russian team. Um, and I really enjoyed playing with England uh, for this match. Um, again, I just thought that it'd be a bit easier to just kind of not do live comms at the minute. Just so we can get a bit more out there. And obviously, yeah, there's only another, uh, like, what, how many days now? So it's I'm just trying to check when this video is coming out. So if I go back, this video shall be coming out in September. And it will be on the the uh, 20th. So there is only eight more days till FIFA 13. I hope you are all excited. I am soon to be getting it because obviously we're getting the season ticket. So we'll be getting it on the 25th, which is on Tuesday. So I'm really excited. So next week I shall be playing FIFA all my team, uh, FIFA and FIFA all my team. So that that is amazing, and I really can't wait. I hopefully you hopefully you have enjoyed this series. And I'm going to be doing some brainstorming, more brainstorming on what teams uh, and what kind of stuff I'm going to be doing for FIFA for you lot. So hopefully you'll stick around for that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's been a good run on FIFA 12. We've done quite a lot of videos since we started late on this channel. And really there will be a final video going through um, just telling you about FIFA. Uh, and just kind of just showing you a bit more uh, of what we're going to be doing. So... Again, I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying every day of this uh, being partner and all that, and it's it has been a blast. So, FIFA 13 will sh will be amazing. Hopefully, I've been hearing reviews and all that kind of stuff already. Uh, people going to like E3 and all that. I've been hearing it for mo uh, for at least a month now, and I literally just can't wait to get my hands on it. Obviously, you've already played the demo since that came out on the 11th, but the commentary is done a bit before. I'm a, a bit ahead of my schedule, so I can't really say anything about that because. Obviously, I would, I would, I've not played it yet, so I'm waiting for the 11th. So by, the, by the time this video is out, there will be FIFA 13 videos already out on the demo. So hopefully you will enjoy all of that good stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, reviewing on the demo, uh, as you've probably already guessed. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more, so hopefully you'll enjoy all that. I'll see what I can get out on the demo, see what's being released um, as it has. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. So moving on to our team quickly. Uh, you're probably thinking, Gabby Bunglehor, why have you picked the most newbiest player in the world to go on this English team? So fact one, I really can't be asked to um, to have anyone beat me with a Bunglehor without me using him. I've been through this entire episode of uh, San Hesky Home and even in my all mid teams. A Bunglehor is the outpaced, uh, overpaced, overshooting, overrated player in this entire game. Not overrated, but like over like powerful uh, player in this game. In my opinion, and I really couldn't be asked to sit there and just not pick him. Really, I couldn't afford Rooney, so that was out of the question. I would have chose Rooney over him easily. But the only people I had to choose over him was like Darren Bent, Sturridge. Um, there's uh, who else was there? There was um, Andy Carroll, all that kind of players. And I thought, stuff it. I'm just going to go for a bond the whore, and we're going to pwn some noobs. So as you can see already, we're three two up. This was quite a good game, to be fair. And I just thought. There's there's no point me complaining about a Bonhoeffer being overpowered if I'm not going to use them. And what way to use them better than bringing in an English team? So moving on, we got Hart in that he is an absolute animal. What can you expect? I've had him multiple times, and he's just just a dream to play with. And I'm just quickly going into a pie, uh, and he is a dream to play with. Also, the defense we've got the standard defense. We've got Rio Terry, uh, very standard centre backs, the best centre backs on uh, England, and I think Terry's. Rating is kind of the same, but like I think Rio just doesn't play to his standard anymore. Um, he's definitely going down in uh, FIFA 13, and really that's all to it. Then I've gone for Cole, obviously, a really quick left back. And then I could have gone for kind of anyone from Ranger, from Richards to uh, Glenn Johnson or someone like that. Uh, Glenn Johnson is one of my favourite players um, for England for the right back position, but I thought Richards has proved himself in the Olympic team, and I think he's a very quick player, and he gets up that wing quite well with... Uh, with Walcott being on that wing, so I quite quite enjoyed playing with him. Then moving on to the uh, midfield, we have got good old Ashley Young, an amazing player in left mid. He's the top rated player in there. 
Centre mid, we've got Lampard and Gerrard, the obviously two giants. And apparently I've been hearing that on FIFA 13 they're going to be raid 83. That's just a joke. I know Gerrard maybe hasn't played the best since he's been injured for the last season, but Jesus Christ, he's, he should not be 83. Gee, that's just... that it, it's I don't, don't even get why. But um, And then Lampard, obviously, why the hell? It's just stupid. But then they are two beasts in that middle. Then right mid we have good old Theo Walcott. He's an absolute legend. He's got amazing pace. But he doesn't seem to have that pace. Which is a bit annoying because I really think that he should play to having the, like one of the top paces in the entire world. Which I think he does very well. He's, uh, his shot is pretty poor but if you get on goal he will score. And then obviously you have Mr. Gabby at Bonlahor. The most overpowered person in the entire game. Uh, ahead of David Luiz in my opinion. He is... An absolute tank when it comes to uh, going forward. His strength must be 99 because I've had like I've even had, had out yeah, baby. I've even outpaced Thiago Silva with this player and oh my god I just really couldn't um, outpace anyone with Thiago Silva. Even Messi couldn't outpace Thiago Silva, which just shows that he's just overpaced to hell. But he, he still manages to do it and that's why I chose him to be honest. And really, what can you say when you've got a player like that? You just need to exploit him and just absolutely bone with him. So we're coming up to the end of this match. I hopefully you've enjoyed the induction to the English team. It is our English nation. It's home nation for me. Um, and we are going to boss with this team. Um, and yeah, that's all to it. So really, hopefully you enjoy this last uh, team. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the entire series. If you have, remember to leave this a like. It, it will help me out so much. And it can kind of uh, go to the future of what FIFA 13 is like. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment below your opinion. Subscribe if you enjoy the content for daily use. And remember to keep gaming and I'll see you in FIFA 13. Bye bye. Peace.